Yeah, well, joining us now is uh, Murad Chaudhry. He is uh, head of Treasury at Europe Arab Bank. Uh, Murad, great to see you. Thanks. Well, is there a disconnect between the reality of the situation as you would see it, that the, uh, uh, the Greeks are likely to default as much as, well, uh, Elvis is going to turn <laughs> up at the Albert Hall and sing live to you, as you've been putting it, and what perceptions are outside of Europe? Every participant has to remember that the euro is first and foremost a political construct and not an economic one. It's part of the tools by which the European Union forges ever closer union. If one remembers that, then one can be fairly certain that actual default, let alone leaving the euro, is not on the cards. It's not going to happen. And I think, as you suggested, people outside of the Eurozone, people outside of Europe, need to be aware of that. But surely they must be already. I mean, there's no mechanism for you, A, to really leave the Euro and to actually have a default on your, on your debt would be, well, would send the whole Euro project into complete disarray. There is a mechanism for the first. Certainly, Europe, sorry, Greece can default, absolutely. There's no reason for a particular member of the Eurozone mm -hmm if it finds it simply cannot meet its repayment obligations that it ends up defaulting. But again, because of the political impact of that on the Euro project, that's why I think that's not going to happen. It's a view and I think people, external investors potentially, may think they can, well they detect a default on the cards because their budget and their structural problems are so severe. But there will be some sort of assistance that ultimately works its way through the system, whether that's an IMF bailout, which I personally, again, for political reasons, don't think will happen, or more likely an EU-type assistance programme that will get Greece out of this problem. Uh, tell us a little bit about the role of hedge funds in Greece's financial crisis. How aggressively are they operating and are they benefiting from rises in, in CDS prices for Greek debt? Well, I wouldn't know exactly what their strategy and thinking is. It's apparent that there is large institutional investor money, including hedge fund money, both synthetically and cash, that is in effect shorting the Greek sovereign name. You mentioned um, spreads and CDS prices. So it would appear that this large institutional investor money, which would include hedge fund trading, is not so much creating a problem as serving to focus on the problem. That's what happens when large parts of the market decide that something's going to happen and they and they trade that way. So they're focusing the problem and they bring it to light. And in fact, that is not necessarily the end of the world because the Greek structural uh, budget and deficit problems has been around for a while. It's just come to the fore now because of what investors and hedge funds are doing. So you're saying that it's not, the, the, they're not causing what's happening, they're simply uh, focusing attention on it. But we've heard the Greek Prime Minister say that everyone knows their speculation. He says hedge funds are pushing the market. Could, nevertheless, could we see this lead to some sort of political backlash against hedge funds? Let's take in order. I don't think the market creates not this problem. This is a problem. The, the Greek uh, public sector deficit is large. Their statistics in the past were shown to be inaccurate. It, it is a problem. It's, it's, it's live. It's current. As I said, the investors, including hedge funds, are serving to focus issue on it by trading in a particular way. To take the other issue, is there going to be a regulatory backlash? Well, I don't want to comment on that. I don't know if necessarily that will result in hedge funds being required to come under regulation. That's a separate argument. There's a case for saying, post the financial crisis, that all large market counterparties, because of the, the size of the positions they take, the systemic ris risk they may represent to bank counterparties, should come under regulation. But I think that's a separate debate, whether there was a Greek problem or not. Weakest uh, bit of this is going to be the euro, isn't it? Does the euro actually be the path of least resistance is for the downside and for how long? At least until the summertime. That's a very good question. We've been saying the euro this year will be the weak currency. The dollar will appreciate from that. It's always, it always does in a flight to quality situation. Sterling will as well once we get over the first quarter or two. I think uh, until April and May when the Greek government has another repayment to consider and until the summer at least, the euro is going to weaken in the FX markets, yes. Well, Chowdhury, thanks very much. And you My for pleasure. speaking to us.